My name is David Childress and I'm the Director of Technology for Lynchburg City Schools. One of the things that we wanted to make sure when we built this new facility was that we wanted to make sure that we brought technology in that uh, helped our students uh, to be engaged in the learning process because we know that through their engagement, their, their learning increases through that process. Uh, the, the second thing that we really looked at was the ease of use and, and what did it take for a, uh, a teacher to be able to utilize a system effectively so that if the teacher's not comfortable with using the technology, they're not going to use it and then the, the students aren't going to get the benefit of it. So those were the two key uh, areas that we looked at in designing the system for this building. The final uh, factor was cost. Uh, you know, anytime you're dealing with a government agency or especially in education, uh, cost is, all, is always a, a huge part of the equation. And uh, so we, we needed to make sure that we were able essentially to accomplish all the other goals, but do it utilizing the least amount of funds uh, as possible. You know, so in our rooms that have uh, six TVs, we set up uh, different types of shares for the teacher so she can group uh, stations together. If I want to go in and change that, if our teacher comes to me and says, can you change that? It's easy enough that we can do that in-house. And so that's, that's a huge win uh, for our school division. One of the benefits that Wirestone brought to us was there's really not a lot of devices uh, that were required to, to set it up. Uh, again, very simple uh, to set that up. So you have the Inato, and then you have the, the matrix switcher, uh, which again is configurable. Um, you can add uh, the number of cards that you need for a particular installation and the type of cards. And so as a benefit of that, it's, it's less components and less pieces that we have to support. And that's important to me as a director of technology because the less hardware I have to support, the less points of failure uh, down the road, which means that our teachers can teach and they can be confident that the system's gonna be up. Um, I'm Michelle Viscrishan. I teach Spanish uh, level three and level five AP here at Heritage. And I also teach a course called Teachers for Tomorrow. Um, my smallest class is a group of 12. My largest class is a group of 26 or 27. We only had one week to unpack this whole building and get ready for school to start, for students to be in our classrooms on day one. The Friday before school started, I learned how to turn the system on. And Monday and Tuesday of the following week, I was actually using the system in my classroom. That's pretty impressive for me because, you know, it's very nervous for a teacher to try to learn this new technology at the beginning of the year and try to engage her students in instruction at the same time. But it was a piece of cake. It actually was really, really easy to use. In my United States history class, it was like the colonial period. So on each screen, she had something different about a different, like, component of that time period. And then she would assign about four students to each, um, each like group, each stream. And then we each like educate ourselves on that topic. And then we come together in the middle and share our learnings with everybody else. I have seen a level of engagement. I think students, um, especially now that students can project their work on the board. And I've seen teachers, I've had students project their work on the screen. So it means. I can share what I'm doing with everybody else and I think there's a pride in being able to do that. And then working together with students being able through Google Classroom and Google Drive to collaborate on assignments and to be able to collaborate on a project has been very, very helpful for the students. You know, when you, when you look at a typical classroom, you've got um, a number of different types of learners. Uh, you've got audio learners, visual learners. Uh, you have learners who are high achieving and, and students who may need more remediation. And so when you look at our classroom and the, the technology in our classroom, a lot of our teachers have told me that they've been able to do differentiated instruction. They've been able to uh, advance the, the students who are ahead and who know the content. Obviously, you don't want to hold them behind, so you keep them moving forward on the new content. Uh, and students that need remediation or may need more uh, direct instruction, uh, you can have them, the teacher can, be, can work with those particular students. And so the, the technology really allows you to do um, two or three things at one time so that everybody is engaged at the same time. Your, your more advanced and higher learners are engaged, your students who need more remediation are engaged. And the technology, um, the collaboration stations that we have in our classroom allow our teachers to be able to do those types of things. When you can get a, the most flexible system and 
know that you have the performance and reliability, why wouldn't you choose it?